First of all, what does hypertrophy mean? Hypertrophy is the enlargement of organs or tissue to an increase in the size of their cells. Of course, in bodybuilding we are mainly concerned with the hypertrophy of our muscles and in bodybuilding there are two kinds of hypertrophy. The first is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which means there is more fluid inside your muscles, which makes them bigger without gaining strength. While in myofibrillar hypertrophy, the size of the fibers of your muscles increase and therefore the muscles also gain strength. Now some people think that when bodybuilders train, they knowingly or unknowingly go for sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, giving them big and bulky muscles with comparatively little strength gains. But in reality, you usually get both when you train. You get a bit of sarcoplasmic hypertrophy and you get a bit of myofibrillar hypertrophy. The only rule of thumb that you can apply here is that if you train for low rep ranges, let's say five to eight, then you get more myofibrillar hypertrophy. When you go for higher rep ranges, let's say eight to 12, then you get more sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, but you don't get one or the other in its pure form. Of course, the last one directly leads us over to this one. How do you best reach hypertrophy? And no matter if it's um, strength you are after or size, there are people out there who claim that their program is the best way to reach hypertrophy, no matter if you want strength or size or both. But in reality, nobody really knows simply because um, although all humans are built by the same blueprint there are some fine variations between each of us our genetic makeup what we eat how long we slept all that um, determines how we should train on a specific day and there can be um, a wild variety to what someone else should do on that day so while there are some um, fundamental rules that you should follow there is no one plan to reach the maximum of hypertrophy that all of us can follow in my opinion there are simply three basic rules that you should heed to reach hypertrophy number one is you need to work against sufficient resistance so if you can do um, more than 15 or 20 reps with a weight during a set then you are training uh, muscular endurance and you are neither training strength or size because endurance involves um, different muscle fibers than those responsible for strength and size and number two you need protein because as we said protein is what makes your muscle fibers larger without protein your body can't build bigger muscle fibers and number three you should keep variety in your workouts you need to work against sufficient resistance but if you always go for heavy workouts with low rep ranges your body gets used to that as much as when you do uh, rep ranges of 8 to 12 and your body gets used to that or you do one exercise or one workout plan for too long so you should keep variety in there you can do a drop set from time to time or a pyramid or a higher rep range just keep variety in your workouts from time to time and your body will still be engaged with your workouts in other words Keep working out, keep track of your progress, and as long as you are making progress, then everything is going okay. And you shouldn't overly concern yourself with, um, would it have been possible for me to reach more hypertrophy during my workout? Should I change this or that to get more hypertrophy? As long as progress is being made, you are doing great. And with that being said, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.